Hello everybody of the interweb, painters and decorators, subscribers, thanks for joining me today. Bit of an unusual one, very unusual. I'm actually doing a product review. Now that's great because I've not done a product review before. I've always done um, telling you how to do things but this time it's actually a product review. Now a bit of background on that, nobody's paying me for this video. It'd be nice if I was paid from YouTube or somebody to do a video but nobody's paying me for this but I was contacted by a company now 3M contacted me now this is probably a good five or six weeks ago so they contacted me on a message from social media and quick glance me reading down the message I thought 3M's contacted me they're gonna send me a BMW because I read through it and they said I want you to do a product review on um, one of our products and 3M, M3, I got mixed up, being a bit dyslexic, my M's and my 3's, wrong way around. But once I read it again, I realised it was not M3, it was 3M. 3M, you remember? 3M do all your face masks, they do all the stuff that she tapes, your blue tapes that you like, your low tack tapes. But they also, what I didn't know, they did spray guns. Now that's what they wanted me to look at and review. Now, this is a bit of an unusual spray gun because I've done my research, I've looked on the internet. Now, this spray gun is mainly used in the automotive industry. None of the YouTube videos I see about this spray gun is like me and you doing this on domestic or um, general painting and decorating spraying. So this is really why 3M's contacted me um, and been in touch to say, can you have a look at this product? It's in the automotive industry. Could it transfer across to the paint and decorating industry? Possibly it can, possibly it can't. We don't know. We'll work it out, we'll see. You can help me on this one. Tell me what you think when I've done the review. Now I'm not doing an actual spraying review today. I'm going to look at the product. I'm going to, it's all, down here and look at the product see what we think of it my first initial thoughts on the product I'll tell you about some of the spray guns I've already got so how it compares to what I've got compared to what they've sent me and uh, we'll take it from there now those of you that know me and those of you that know me quite well I can't do a quick video on YouTube mine are always 20 minutes long aren't they again I pipe on about me 53 minutes of how to paint a wall I mean, there's people that have sat through 53 minutes of painting a wall. I don't want to do that today. I want to do quite a quick review on this spray gun. I'll give you my pluses and minuses, what I'm thinking, and I'll tell you at the end, or, I, or as we go through, I'll tell you where I think I'll be using it, because I will try it. I will try it out. I will give it a go. It's not just a case they've sent me a product, let's have a look at it, open the box. We're not doing that. I'm going to give you my thoughts. I'm like you painter and decorator, ordinary, earning a living, keeping me family, well I'm in the garden at the minute, keeping me family with some bread on the table, bit of broth, keep them happy, jobs are good and we have a laugh about that. Bit of a bit of a spot there, I can go comments, thumbs up, subscribe, bell, we've gone through all that, you know what I'm like on it, right? Right, so let's get back down to what we're doing. We're actually doing a view, review on a spray gun. Now I'm going to show you what they've sent me. Can you see this? This is a, I've opened the box, it's I've got it out. It's a cracking bit of kit. It is really, you know when you talk about sexy spray gear and we want to do sexy spraying. This is a sexy spray gun. Well that's be fair. That's this is a sexy spray gun. I'm going to tell you about it from my eyes as a painter and decorator. I'm not technical, I don't know the ins and outs of facts and figures like that. I'm going to tell you as it is, what I think, and we'll go through it bit by bit. If you think this is going to be suitable for you, give us a thumbs up, give us some comments. If you're already using this as a painter and decorator, house painter, because I've got people that are following me around the world now. You've seen this being used for spraying cars, now I'd love to spray a car don't know whether I could do spray in a car. I know how to use a spray gun. I know the basics. Quite possibly if I did a day spray course on spraying a car, I could spray a car. I'd be able to tell you how to use this. 
but I'm not. I'm not spraying cars. I'm spraying woodwork. I'm spraying doors. I'm spraying bits of furniture. I'm spraying wardrobes. I've had it last week. Last week's job. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen over the last few weeks wardrobes. I've done um, side units. So domestic painting and decorating. Can I use this? Let's see what's in the box. Right. I've already had the box open. What's in the box? We've got an instruction book. Can you see that? We've got an instruction book. Now what I'm actually reviewing is the 3M performance spray gun and it's the system system owner's manual. There's some reading in there. I don't do reading. I like looking at pictures. We do looking at pictures. Thankfully, there's plenty of pictures in here. But what we've got, this PPS system, this stands for, and I wrote it down so I don't forget. The PPS system is relating to its paint preparation system. I couldn't even read my writing then. That's how bad it's got for scribbling stuff down. It's the paint preparation system. So we've got a 3M spray gun and it's the performance industrial spray gun right now you're going to say well, it's just like any other spray gun yeah it is until you see it i've got it out of the box i'm going to show you what it is ah, look at this look at this can you see i can tell you now that is lightweight can you see it any better that is lightweight if it was carbon fiber you'd go sexy it's not carbon fibre, it's like a, I don't know what it's made of, it's not metal, I won't, it's not plastic, it's like a composite sort of hardened plastic. But the key feature of this is it's lightweight. Now the selling, you know when you've watched, um, not Dragon's Den, but you know The Apprentice when they go on about USP's ultimate selling points, the ultimate selling point of this is the quick release features. You're going to say, what do you mean, Phil? Quick release. We know about quick releases on hoses. It's not that. It's the quick release feature of the needle on the end and the spray tips. Now, I'll come on to that in a minute, but I'll just briefly tell you what it is. Now, you've got a needle there. Can you see? It's already set up in the gun. Now, the needle is universal. And when I mean universal, it can be swapped between the spray tips. Now, the spray tips, as we know, and I've touched on other videos on this, the spray tip orifice size the smaller the size the thinner your paint you can get through it the bigger the hole the more paint you can get through it now this kit comes with different spray caps now each spray cap can be interchanged with this spray needle so you don't need to take that needle out like we've got on other HVLPs because sorry I've missed this is an HVLP system it's not an HVLP system as I know it this is really rigged off a conventional spray. It's not airless, so we're looking at high volume, low pressure. I should have said that at the beginning. Sorry, everybody. I'll add it in when I edit it. So we've got a needle, whereas my traditional um, QT5 HVLP, if I want to swap the needle and the air cap, it's the needle comes out, the air cap comes off, and the little um, orifice, we unscrew that. None of that on this it's brilliant this one needle multiple air caps that's putting it in simple terms so i'll show you what we've got on air caps again i can't get over how light this is so i'm going to put it on it's so nice i'm going to put it on some foam right there's two ways of using this spray gun you know about gravity feed and the suction feed i was going to get all these out they're all like this, air caps. Just going to get them all out. Now these range from a 1.1 to a 1.8. And in layman's terms, the smaller the number, the smaller the hole, the thinner the paint needs to be. So if you're spraying cars, you'd be looking at lacquers, really varnish, you know, finishing lacquers. For us, me and you, we're decorators. We probably won't go as small as a 
unless we're doing varnishes and lacquer spraying which is on your, your furniture so you might be doing furniture units but when we start going to the 1.5s which I'll spray stuff like Ticarilla Helmi um, 30 I'd use a 1.5 thin the paint down slightly or I'll go a bit bigger a 1.8 or a stroke could go to a 2 that could be spraying the thicker paints don't have to thin it down so much so these again 3m you buy them in buy them in a bag pack it you can get different sizes this is a multi-pack it comes with two 1.1s comes with two 1.4s which you'd probably use what I'd thin my paint down for a 1.5 so 1.4 it's got two 1.8s well, I use 1.8s if I'm spraying things like um, Zinsor All Coat Zinsor All Coat sprays lovely at a 1.8 so we've already got a spray cap that's what's that's 1.4 so we've got a spray cap at 1.8. I'm going to talk to you as a painter and decorator, not as a car sprayer. I'm going to say how I'm going to use it. So I'd be using a 1.8. Now this would connect to a remote pot. You know what I mean by a remote pot? There's a pot underneath with your painting and it goes through there. Now you're going to say, Phil, this is an air cap. We've got it there, it's an air cap. How does it work with the gun? It's quite simple. It fastens or clips into there. Now how do you do it? It's a twist and go, dead easy. So one of the key things is, when you're putting the air cap on, pull the needle in so you're not putting it under pressure. Line up, you can see, line up the little, yeah you can see the focus. Line up the little lugs with the gaps on that side. Can you see that? Push it on, push it on because it's quite stiff, it's quite new. So pushing it on lining up and I'm pushing it in make sure it's all the way in can release the trigger uh, is it a left or a right turn so stiff turn it that's locked in as easy as that now you're going to say brilliant what does that mean that means you can actually swap that tip that air cap because everything's happening in that air cap if I want to go to a different size I can turn it pull it off it'll be stiff pull it off I'm going to swap it for a 1.4 so pull the needle back push it in line it up twist it I'm on a 1.4 already so I've had no cleaning out of the air cap or anything if I'm swapping between sizes what you would do if you're swapping between paints there's no mass cleaning out with these Just got to line it up, line it up pull it off all you need to do is when you're swapping the air caps just get some depending on your paint you're spraying clean the needle just wipe it with some water make sure it's clean if you're using cellulose paints a bit of gun cleaner cellulose thinners a bit of spirit white spirit if you're using oil base now you're going to think cellulose where, where's phil going to be don't forget i've sprayed you pvc we use the color bond we use the colour bond don't we that uses the thinner which is like a cellulose thinner so if I was spraying colour bond for UPVC spraying how good would that be if I need to go from a thicker material to a thinner material or even if I want to change colour you're going to say Phil what do you mean change colour well currently I'm telling you about a spray cap that's fitted on there twisted quick release because that's what it is quick release with a hose connected to your paint I'm going to show you how it all fits together I'm just giving you the basics of the cap at the minute that would be a pot feed underneath now what's going to be useful to you because I've not got a remote pot for this what's going to be useful to you and me look at these I hope I'm explaining it if I'm not explaining it right just tell me where I'm going wrong this see the difference see it? different do you know what I'm going to tell you yeah gravity pot this will take your gravity pot so let's move these ones away I'm just going to unclip that make sure it lines up pull it off that's the way same principle Pull the needle back, push it in, clip it on. Now that will take a gravity pot. 
fitting on the top. And you're going to say, what do you mean a gravity pot fill? The pot that goes on the top comes in the kit. What comes in the kit? A pot. Individual liners. You know, individual liners. But you can see, gauge how much paint you need, mixing. That's there. Comes with a cap. Now you've got a blue, you've got a blue filter, and you've got white filters. So they're different. That's a finer filter, the blue. The white, a little bit bigger, I don't know, you can see the difference. Now in the kit, you get one blue filter, and you get four of the ordinary filters. Now the blue filters, we're going technical, this is as technical as I get. The blue filters are 120 micron. That's like very, very fine. The white are 200. You can just see through it a bit more. Can you see that? Yeah. Right, so you've got 200 on that, 120. So that's fine, a little bit bigger. So what you're gonna do, let's keep with the white one. So you've got throwaway cups. These are throwaway. If you're using something like a cellulose, you're using your colour bonds, you could tip out your paint from that, bin it, because you can buy these. 3M do these in various sizes. Do a bit of Googling about the throwaway pots for the PPS system, and you'll see different sizes. A bit smaller, thinner, longer you get more in. But for now, I'm talking to you as a decorator, a sprayer, painter and decorator, these will be fine for what we're using. If you're spraying windows outside, these are going to be ideal. Spraying the door, they ideal. Spraying trim, I'm calling it trim because there's some Americans that are listening. Woodwork. The liner goes in the pot, you mix your paint, obviously tip it in there, keeping on your quantities, and then this, it just clips in. So let's line it up, and it clips together. So there's your paint, that's ready to go. Now what you do, if that was full of paint, put it on your table, you see me, I'll put it on the table there. Then, upturn your pot, um, gun for your pot, twist it in, make sure it twists in, and it locks in place. Then you can turn it the right way up. Now the beauty of this is, because this is like a pressurized, if you think of your traditional um, HVLP spraying, you'd have a air pipe in to pressurize it. This is pressurizing all through the cap. So this, spray left, right, up and down, you've got maneuverability. This isn't one of these pots that you've got to keep upright or else you'll block the air pipe. It doesn't work like that. This, you'll probably see it shrinking in size when your paint's being used. So you're spraying away. What's this? We've got a 1.2, so that would be varnishes and lacquers. That would be really small. We still have in here, which is a good selection. What have we got? I've got a two, so that would be thicker paint. A 1.8, now you know I like my 1.8 when I'm doing my zinzer oil coat. I've got a 1.3, so we're back to lacquers. Oh, the sun's coming out, it's lovely. I'm glad I came out in the garden instead of being inside. Got 1.6, so that's very much like. Um, let's move me up a bit. 1.6 is like me 1.5. There. Okay, I'm going to have sunny my eyes. So we've got a good selection, and they're all in the pack. You can buy them individually because I've looked, to see what they like. You can buy individual sizes, or you can get like a universal mix of sizes. We've got one, 1.2. I've got one, 1.3, I've got one, 1.4. I'm at 1.6, a 1.8, and a, a 2.0. Right, so that's that. So, are you getting me so far? We've got a system that's lightweight, quick release, easy to clean out, throw away cups. Now, once that's emptied, you can unclip it. I don't want to break it before I've even used it. Unclip it. Now what's nice about this, the actual holding cup is um, 
got a little bit of a hole in it so you can actually pinch from the bottom you can pinch your plastic liner so when you're unclipping the mesh top and you want to keep that in place or get it out you can just pinch it to remove it if that's still got painting take your paint out throw it away buy some more these are quite quite cheap throw away let's get back to this gun what else do you get with this gun when you've got it right I'll try and put it all together for you you've got a pressure gauge now the pressure gauge is there which is great that just I'll do it loosely pressure gauge goes on the bottom so you could keep an eye on your pressure obviously the regulator to let more air through or not your guns like other guns HVLP you've got your needle so the further the needle goes back the more paint it'll let through tighten it down and when we're practicing when we're just doing a bit of a test I always shut it down to next to nothing so nothing comes out slowly regulate it turn it till you get a bit more out a bit more a bit more and then you know where you are with it and then shall I tell you or you're going to tell me in the comments what do you think the top one's for you've got the, the paint there you have got the needle what's the top one going to be doing I won't tell you because if you watch me other videos all you know I want you to comment so you've got two regulators top one that's altering something I'm not going to tell you bottom one obviously allows more paint through or less paint put the top one give us some comments below you know what it is don't you I'll tell you at the end when we've done all the um, editing right so we've got a lightweight gun right what else have we got in the kick you've got a spare what do you call that flange connector quick release connector so you've got a spare one of those that's good You've also got three of these bung caps. Now the bung caps go in the top of there so you can keep your paint fresh if you're swapping between paints. Because this system, being a quick release, means you can swap between paints. So you could have one pot with white, you could have another pot with anthracite. So if you're doing a door, do the door in the anthracite and you think don't want to do mass cleaning out you can swap between pots so you'll have a pot ready a pot with white in it do the frame you could change your tip or anthracite on the other one so can you see the benefits of this spray gun because I can particularly for doing UPVC spraying that bun goes on there keeps your paint fresh sealed right when you come to actually setting the gun up if you've got a pot feed see this I like this it's got the whip hose so let's get this right that slides in there you can get it in I can't even get it in to pull it out so, got the hose there look that clips in there can you see that it slides on there and clips in with a little pin now that let's go back to one of these suction ones slides on there lock it in place and then that hose Connects to there with a quick system, quick release system. Can't even get it on. So that goes on there. So we're locked on there. So to back with you, I'll just sound a fiddle because with it being new, it was a bit tight. So that whip hose actually connects to the bottom. It just pushes on there, and you turn it. I didn't want to break anything so I'll just stop the video but I'll show you how it comes off it turns that way it's stiff and unclips so if you've got a pot system connected to that your paints coming up through that pot that is your airline 
goes through there and your painter be being sucked up through there but because I've not got a remote pot I'm going to talk to you about doing it off the pot at the top for the gravity so that just clips in there you'll see how it lines up and then lock it in place so I'll take it off now you see and then that can come off there pull the pin all the way out and unclips so actually I'm I'm not planning on using that one not planning on using that at the minute I'm looking at unclipping that pull that off don't forget that would be on you see that that would be on that would be on so fasten that to the side keep an eye on it regulate it whichever side you want however you want to look at it gun and we're going to be using these ones that connect with that on the top with the pot I won't put a liner in it pots on the top and then that connects to the gun but don't forget connect the gun to the pot when it's on a flat surface right are we there with that I think we've nearly covered it all do you understand what I've got I've got a lightweight gun I'm going to disconnect that with quick quick re oops with quick release systems which means you can swap between paints and an easy clean out and what did I mean by easy clean out well you unclip the air cap that comes straight off you'd flush that through water or whatever your medium is whatever your paint you're using whatever the thinner is to it don't forget oil based you'll be uh, white spirit using stuff that's spirit based it could be methylated spirit based like your bin zinza bin that's um, shellac based that would be meths if you're using stuff that's water based you flush with water if it's cellulose obviously cellulose thinners I'm not using cellulose I'm not doing any of this 2k 1k really complicated 2k stuff where you're adding bits to it too dangerous for me when you're working in somebody's house with the smells so I'm really going to be looking at your colour bond which is cellulose thinners outside inside and water based so all it is disconnect it clean the needle jobs are gone that's good to go wash that out flush it now my thought is if I was flushing with water because we don't have these canisters on jobs where like in a spray shop where you've got cellulose thinners to flush it through pumping it through what I would do is probably use one of these back in the cup put it back onto the top of the gun fill it with water warm water not too hot flush it through so flush the air cap through with the water rinse it under a tap swipe the needle then you that's a quick change swap swap over to another needle uh, air cap sorry right so we've got all that I'm just going to show you the difference of the spray guns I've got right this is lightweight and I've been really sad I brought out the wife's scales so I'm going to put that on the flat surface I'm going to angle you down so you can see what I'm doing flat surface I've got the scales there I'm just going to turn it on we're going to do it in grams like we're mixing mixing a cake we're doing it in grams right I'm going to put this on to the scales let's just see what it weighs in there that's 145 grams I'm even going to, going to write that down bear with me I'm going to write that down 140 200, sorry, 245 grams, so 245 grams, right, how does that compare, this is my, this is the gun that I use all the time for HVLP, you know, QT5, stage 5, it has a thick air hose on it, it's low volume of air, um, pressure of air, I don't know what it's spraying at, you'll know the technical side of things, is it 40, 50 psi, not sure, that compared to that feels heavy now let's see what this weighs 514 <laughs> says it all so like 514 for the hvlp right i'm writing it down so we don't forget right what's my next hvlp i've got 
this is the HVLP, and I call it HVLP. When I was back at college, we never really called anything HVLP. It was because it had got these, what they call ram horns on the end. The air was mixing with the paint outside. These air caps are mixing paint on the outside the same. That's why they're calling them HVLP. You can get air caps that mix actually in the air cap. You don't have these horns sticking out with the little holes that's got air coming through, paint comes through there, it mixes, pff, atomizers, that's the word we want, atomizer. And thumbs up if we've got that word right, thumbs up. Right, this is what I'd be using off a conventional hose, conventional sprayer setup that I've got. You know that um, 24 litre compressor, I use it for spray, spraying the flake. I also use this when I need to spray in bits and pieces. Let's take the pot off the top. That's off. Look, the little air breather hole there, which the other 3M doesn't have. Right, let's see what this weighs. Oh, 490! So I've got 490 on that, on the other HVLP. So already, look at the dis difference in weight. 145 as a bare carcass. That, I know it's got the air cap on. That's 490. Right, now let's bring it back into what we've probably used as airless. Now I've got my airless, I've brought two airless with me. This is my Titan airless, because I've got my big Titan unit. You've probably seen me spraying with that sometime before. That's the full four finger. That's a big jobby, don't use this a lot. See what this weighs. 569 569 and that's a airless right my airless gun that I do use nearly all the time is that Tritec Tritec two finger Tritec I do like this one because it's two finger let's just see what this weighs in at 478 say so 478 It's gone down a bit because I moved the table, but round about the 407. Oh, it's gone up. It's gone back up. 483. We'll go with 483. 483. So look at the weight of these compared to this lovely 3M. Well, it does look carbon fibery. It looks like something you'd imagine coming out of a McLaren. It looks that good. It's sexy. Sexy spraying. I've done my video on sexy spraying of ceilings. This is actually sexy spraying with a sexy spray gun. So we've got a quick release system, easy clean. Air hose connects onto there. What's that? Are they three quarter of an inch thread? Somebody technical tell me that. Three quarter of an inch thread connects to an airline. Now, I'm hoping, now the good and the bad, I'm hoping that I can use this off my Sprayman spray compressor that's a 24 litre. Now you're gonna say, Phil, why are you saying that to us now? Now, I know that technically this needs airflow of 13 blah de blah air fluid, whatever it is. Now, other stuff that we spray with takes a volume of air, probably a bit less. Somebody who knows this technical bit, fill me in a bit more. But I have been warned that this is taking, is it fluid ounces of air or something like that, I'm not sure. But it does take quite a bit of air to push through. Now I'm hoping that a two 24 litre reserve tank is gonna keep me enough air pressure. Now, it's not gonna be a problem. If you've got a spray shop, i.e. spraying furniture with the big compressors, you know, the big tanks, you might have 50, 100, 150 litre tanks. That's not gonna be a problem. If you've got spray, compressor spray setups, like what you'd find in a spray booth, car, automotive spray um, shop, this isn't gonna be any problem to you. Me, as a little painter and decorator going in somebody's house, I need volume of air. Now I'm hoping that 24 liters is gonna do it. We won't know until I actually get it tested and tried out. And I will test it and I will try it out. When I've done a video on that, you'll see it. But for now, we're just looking at what we've got. So. Are we quite happy? I'm quite happy. I'm getting quite excited about using this. It looks ace. It really looks good. Push it straight on. Make sure you line up your bits. 
pull your needle back, lock it in place, the pot goes on the top, you connect your hose up, it's even got a little bit of a handle there, it's brilliant. I know I said I couldn't do a quick video, I'm probably 30, let's hope we're not 40 minutes, let's call it 30 minutes, let's say we've done 30 minutes of talking you to this. Now if this gun can work for you, think of the weight saving, that weighs nothing, it's lightweight, if you're doing this day in day out, you want a lightweight spray gun. If you're not looking at this as a painter and decorator and you are spray shopping, i.e. you're spraying in a spray shop and you've got the compressors that can give you the volume of air for this, don't knock it. This this is a great bit of kit. Downside, how much is it? Do some Google searching. This kit here that I've got, that's a great bit of kit. I love it. I love how it comes in a back box. All the stuff that you need at 490 500 pounds sounds a lot of money doesn't it tax offsetable but also you'll make your money back on this because how are you going to make your money you're going to be doing more spraying you're going to be using it more you're going to feel the benefits health benefits because you're not you're not I mean I don't like this gun so much I felt this feels really heavy and basic this feels heavy and basic but I like the feel of this that don't like the feel of that it works it does what it needs to do I like that the airless you can get sexier airless spray guns I like that I'm not spraying day in day out I might have a couple of days here spraying might not I'm not spraying all the time but if you're spraying all the time that just feels like a plastic spray gun. It feels like somebody's made it on a 3D printer. It's not. There's some technology gone into this. 3M's put a lot of effort into this. And I appreciate that they've sent me this so I can tell you about it. Because this might be something that suits you more than me, or it might suit me more than you. Who knows? But for now, comments, thumbs up, subscribe. Unfortunately, it wasn't that M3 BMW that I thought was coming in a box. No, I joke about it. The more subscribers I get, the closer I'll get to that classic Porsche. YouTube pays people for doing videos like this. They're not paying me yet. I want that Porsche. But no, thumbs up. Have a look at this. Google it online if you want some more information on specifications. I'll do a link to the actual 3M website for where you can actually see it if you need some more technical um, information on it but for now thanks for listening to me thanks for subscribing thanks for following me it is appreciated people are following me now on Instagram so that's great the links are all in my bio underneath it's nice to interact with people so thanks very much I like explaining things in a way that hopefully you can understand but for now consider it it might be something that actually you want to try. Quick release, easy clean, lightweight. What more could you ask for? It's just got to work for you. And I'm always saying to you, work smarter, not harder. Over and out. Thanks for listening. 